Hi guys. So I'm in the Honda city for today and uh, I'll be sharing this small drive review with you today as you, as I shared for the Hyundai Vaina about a couple of days back. So today I thought of sharing about the Honda city as well. You can see the ambient lighting. Again, the buttons here, steering mounted controls, uh, backlit. These were there in the Verna as well. Then you can see the infotainment system and the AC air control knobs as well, air conditioner knobs as well. And over here we have these four buttons which are backlit on the driver's side door so I think in the Verna we just had one button which was backlit but here we have four and this is good this is quite good at night driving you have the lock and unlock buttons then you have um, the driver's side power window button and uh, you have that uh, to enable operation of power, power windows from uh, the back seats and the co-passenger seat as well to enable or disable that oh, Nice and then there's the information unit I'll just take a right turn and come back to you guys Has the information cluster over here. And I like the fact that you can, you know, customize the left part over here. Like, uh, you can see the range and fuel, otherwise, you can see the tachometer. Then you can navigate to speed and time. So, here you'll get to see the speed, time, and then if you want to see the G meter. And you can see that as well to see the force distribution the stability I usually set this to range and fuel because I like looking at the mileage which I'm getting from the car So you guys can clearly hear the road sound and the engine sound. I, I don't think you'll hear any engine sound in this as well as was the case in the Verna. I think these kind of cars in this segment are coming well insulated. So in case of Honda City or the Verna, you won't feel anything uh, as considering the engine sound inside the cabin. So it's well insulated in both the cars and the road sound is also quite evident that um, you guys can compare with this video and the other video which I posted a couple of days back of the Hyundai Verna and here also I'm on the same I'm on the same road and here's the same speed breaker I'm at 25 and no issues at all so the ground clearance also it, it's like you're driving a sedan come on man you won't get those good ground clearances as you get in the compact SUVs or the proper um, uh, proper uh, full-size SUVs but uh, then as per sedan I think it's good enough obviously you'll have to slow down to 25 30 or maybe sometimes 20 or so, 20 also on speed breakers or um, some large uh, bumps or potholes but then that's the case with every sedan just silent so that you can you guys can hear the sound properly there were a lot of questions about the 
uh, cabin and VH levels. So I, I'm not doing high speed runs again because I'm uh, driving within city. So once I get a chance to make a trip um, on the highways, then uh, I'll cover those high speed runs as well and show you the NVH levels there. Here's that same bump again, speed breaker. I'm at 40, decreasing the speed, 25, 20, take care. So this was a mid-size speed breaker, I believe, and at 20, 25 also, I went past that, but I didn't feel that the car is going to touch. It's good, you know. It's the same, it's it's more or less the same thing which you'll get in every sedan, maybe 5mm difference here or there. But then uh, it's the same kind of ground clearances you get in sedans. And because of the softer suspension setup in this Honda City, um, when you, uh, you know, when you, when you're just going past the speed breakers and when the car touches down the front wheels, you you don't feel anything. In the in the Hyundai Vanna, you will just feel a bit that the front wheels have touched down because the suspension there is a bit stiff. But in this, because of the softer suspension, you won't feel a bit. You won't feel anything. So that's a plus in this softer setup, in the softer suspension setup. But then again, with the softer suspensions, you will feel the car is a bit moving. So again, that is depending on individuals, how they like. So coming to uh, the power delivery, the power delivery is also fantastic in this car. I just love driving both of these vehicles. It's just that in second gear, there's just a little bit of lag in Honda City, which you'll feel. Otherwise, both cars give you enormous amount of power. You won't, you won't be let down with any of these. As you increase the speed, as you will be revving the engine in this Honda City, there will be a little bit of an engine sound, but then that sound is like soothing for me because it sounds like you're driving a sports engine. So that sound which you get, that that's exactly like a sports engine. That's that's the IV. That's the magic of the IV Tech motor. And you'll never feel let down. Like as soon as you want the power, you'll get it. On highways, it's a king. Honda City is a king on highways. You know, you can cruise around at any speed you want. You want to overtake a vehicle? Just just go ahead. As soon as I press the pedal down see the car moving so so damn awesome the feeling and yes it does go 0 to 100 in under 11 seconds I've already done that and only in the second gear it reaches about 105 105 kilometers per hour only in the second gear see this is what I got from 384.7 kilometers, I got an average of 16 kmpl. So this includes um, mixed uh, mileage, like uh, including city and highway, both. 16 kmpl I got for 384.7 kilometers, and then 41.6. This is entirely city mileage, and uh, I got about 11.4, and this will keep reducing because. The car's engine is on and I'm at a standstill at zero kilometers per hour. So this will keep reducing. So that's why I'm saying uh, because I'm recording uh, so many videos and I keep the engine on and, and I uh, keep at standstill. That's why the average is decreasing. But easily you can make out 
uh, about 12 kilometers per liter in city limits so i think uh, that is it and uh, very shortly i'm planning a trip as well with both these cars and uh, that is when i will have much more information and i'll be able to deliver to you guys as well all the information which i collect from that trip so just give me some time and i'll plan and i've already planning a trip and once that is done then i'll come up with more videos as well and keep posting in the comment section guys because i go through the comments and whatever i feel like i try to cover those in the next videos so keep posting in the comment section um, and i'll keep answering your questions so thank you thanks a lot bye bye